In today's video, we're discussing five reasons you should consider 3D printing your design. Now, this video is aimed more at an industrial level rather than hobbyists because I'm assuming if you already own a low-cost 3D printer, you're probably gonna find any excuse to 3D print on it, but if you don't and you have a design that needs to be produced as a product or similar, I'm gonna go through in this video five reasons you should consider 3D printing as a viable route. And then in the next video, we're gonna discuss five reasons why you probably shouldn't consider 3D printing. Let's get started. Okay, reason number one, 3D printing is faster than traditional manufacturing. And this is true. If you wanna go down the traditional manufacturing route to manufacture a product, it will take drastically more time than 3D printing a single object because tooling takes an awful long amount of time versus 3D printing where you can just produce one object overnight. Now that's not to say that 3D printing is faster than mass production, but it becomes ready quicker. You can just produce one object on a 3D printer overnight, whereas with injection molding, for example, you need to do your tooling and get it up and running, which takes a very long time. But then once it is up and running, you can produce parts very quickly. Reason number two, you might want to consider 3D printing for your product. It has little to no geometric limitations. Now, some objects are very, very complex and really there's not many other ways you could manufacture them than 3D printing. Remember, 3D printing is a layer by layer process. It's otherwise known as additive manufacturing and doesn't have any inherent geometric limitations that other more traditional manufacturing processes might, which is why you're seeing many aerospace companies now adopting 3D printing in metal for end use parts because they can get the weight down while maintaining strength, all due to the fact that they don't have to adhere to the same geometric limitations that they did in the past. Reason number three, it's cheaper than mass production, but only if you want a certain number of parts. Again, we're talking about comparing to injection molding. With 3D printing, getting one or two or three is much lower cost than producing a tool for injection molding. Now that tool might be useful for producing hundreds of thousands of identical parts, but if you don't want that many, it's a wasted sunk cost. And again, it will take a very long time to get you there. So 3D printing in the early stages of product development is far more cost effective than going through tooling and producing mass production molds and producing parts that way. 3D printing also generally is cheaper than CNC processes where you might start with metals and subtractively machine them away. 3D printing tends to be a bit cheaper than those processes. Reason number four, you might wanna consider 3D printing for your design. You're still designing it. Uh, I've said, said in previous videos that design is iterative and when you're still working on a product and you're not sure it's gonna be ready or perfect, you still wanna test it. You can't just get it right first go, never happens. So if you're not ready to commit to a large production run of a part that may or may not be wrong, it's happened before, it's destroyed companies, 3D printing is your surefire bet of testing. That's why it's otherwise been known as rapid prototyping. You're rapidly prototyping your design and product. And if something's wrong, it's not gonna be at the end of the world. You can go back and test it. And again, taking advantage of the short lead time of 3D printing, get it right before you commit to a larger batch of objects. And finally, reason number five, you might wanna consider 3D printing for your product. It's decentralized. So what does that even mean? Well, every 3D printer is like its own little, little miniature factory. And these could be anywhere in the world and you can distribute the files that these machines take online digitally, which means you can have a product and send it to anyone in the world with a 3D printer and they can reproduce that product. Now there is different technologies and different you know, qualities you can get off different 3D printers, but the, the root file, the STL file, is universal between all these machines. So if you have a product that you want to share with the world, again, like open source, it's is a big thing for open source, you can share the blueprints, you can share the STL files, and because 3D printing is decentralized, anyone in the world can reproduce that object. You can't really stop it. Again, my, one of my favorite ever quotes, you can't stop the signal, you can't control it. 3D printing is decentralized. And that's gonna do it for this video of five reasons you should consider 3D printing for your product or project or invention. But in the next video, we're gonna to touch on five reasons why you might not want to use 3D printing for your project. It's an amazing technology, but it doesn't do everything perfectly. 
and I would love to have you subscribe so you don't miss that future video. My name's Angus and I aim to empower your creativity with 3D printing and look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys, bye. Rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.